exactly. so we bring the competition to him. He doesn't need to do it now. Welcome to SoCal, baby. There you go. Everywhere, everyone traveling, man. We got Scat coming out from Georgia, fighting off against Demise Nico. Now, in this matchup, I was speaking with Nico. He actually mentioned that this is one of Shulk's worst matchups. Correct. Yeah, th there's a lot of things that could just go wrong for Shulk. And I think the biggest thing is when he gets him off stage. Because, like, most characters, more, most sorties, importantly, can just kind of destroy Snake offstage when he goes for, like, the up B, goes for the uh, little, little uh, device. But when Shulk hits him, he can't knock him off. Yeah, uh, Shulk has very little moves, aerial moves that knock him out of Cypher. So, for the most part... Um, Unless he's in Buster Monado Art, but then you're not going to kill. Exactly, yeah. And um, usually having an extremely long sword, having that range is very, very great. But against Snake, you don't want to hit the grenade. You don't want to hit it. You don't want to take that damage. And, and the Kita is amazing. I mean, it's just amazing, but it's really good against a character that doesn't snap on the way up. So Shulk's, like, really position themselves to go for the sweet spot, and that's where Nikita can be very, very deadly. We're going to see how he's going to work out this. I like that bait for the C4, right? You saw him run off the platform and just, with, like, kind of air dodge right back onto the platform. Right. Right afterwards to avoid the explosion. Look out for that Nikita. You're going to see a lot of down tilts coming out from Nico as well. Really quick grounded air, uh, move. Just kind of like catch Scat off guard. He's got him a little bit cornered here. Uh, you know, Scat wants to kind of stay a little bit away from Nico, try to throw out those grenades, so have some more explosions right afterwards. Exactly, and th that back air is such a great tool for uh, Nico. And there is the forward air off stage, and he wasn't on the cipher, so my man's got blasted off to the right. Yo, know, town and city, you're on the you're on platform channel, you can't get out. I mean, <laughs> sometimes you get stuck. Now Nico, 153%. Could still try to survive a little bit longer with Shield Minato Arts if he finds himself being in a dangerous situation. But you know what? You're already grabbed. You can't activate Minato Arts in while, you're, while you're in that puddle state, man. But imagine if you could. Yeah, that would be not okay. That would be beautiful, dude. Can we talk about how Snake has a kill throw, too? My man's got it all. <laughs> yeah, back throw. And even then, if you manage to get a couple more pummels in there, he could have easily just gone for the down throw into a guaranteed kill. The classic. Oh, switching in the shield. Thought that, I mean, usually off of the grenade explosion, uh, Snake can follow up after. But that time hitting both of them. So now the shield, not art, is down. Fantastic awareness from Scad, recognizing they couldn't get the follow up afterwards either. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, wow, that platform actually blocked him. But there's oh, the stick. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my man's tried to get the spike, the forward air to catch that jump. But is he still sticky? Yeah, I, I believe so. he is. It, it doesn't even, OK, it's back on. OK, it's on the ground. Right oh, now. it fell off him. Yeah, yeah, they can fall off. Yeah, good for him. Oh, there's the parry, but wow, he thought he was going for the cross-up. Very, very sneaky from Nico, and t talking about sneaky, man. Look at that C4 placement. I like that Nico opted to go for a neutral air in that position because he thought that scout was going to play aggressive, but he did play aggressive, but in a different sense. Oh. Wait, hold on a second. He goes off super <laughs> high. I mean, yeah. you can chase him. Yeah, you can chase him down, but up we oh! go. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> you trying to fly away? No, <laughs> Uh, I heard that Shulk can't fly. He can jump good. Yes. <laughs> many, many jumps and very far jumps at that, man. Nico getting the snipe all the way off the top. And I love the timing. You saw how he staggered the jump art. And then right as Scat was getting off the Cypher, that's when the up air connected. Yeah, he had to wait for it afterwards because if he hit him mid-Cypher. Oh, oh, there we go. Off wait. the side. Nico, you lied to me. <laughs> you lied to me, Nico. What? Look at him. He's reacted. He knows what he told me. Yeah, right. Okay. It's because he hit him with the down air. It's because it was the second part of it. Yeah, so yeah. Sometimes you got to withhold that information, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Hold them. Yeah, my you know, you know so, <laughs> New York snakes, you know, you, you be telling the wrong information. He's like, all <laughs> gotcha. the time, man. <laughs> well, the thing is, so, like, I understand where he was coming from because down air is, like. Initial hits. It, it, the so the initial hits. And, like, what you need from Shulk is to look at that first initial hit of down air to connect him to the second one. So it's really tough to get that both hits to go, you know? And that's, wow. that's what, was, what was able to knock him out of the cypher and get the spike. So Nico putting a point on the board. Yeah, and it wouldn't be Mega Smash Monday's 200 if we didn't see some more Mega Man action. And wow, I'm very surprised uh, Nico went ahead and got Scat to switch off of the snake. It's such a good matchup. But obviously, if your character has a really bad matchup, newsflash, the guy's probably going to grind it out a lot. Uh, Mr. R actually lives. Uh oh Oh. We, oh, we're back, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Jumping out of our game, back onto the stage. That was almost a depressing moment. Yeah, yeah, that definitely like just stopped my train of thought, and I was like, wow, that's uh, not okay. But with the jump, Monado art coming in to save the day, and the shield art as well. But wow, Scat very comfortable with comboing the shield art, and that's such a big thing to know in 
the uh, Shulk matchup is you need to know your regular combos on Shulk, and of course, when he goes into that shield art, you still have combos on him. It's just different. Yeah, you got you got to be able to switch it up a bit. Now, it, you got to remember is that Nico was sent to losers by a different Mega Man. Yeah, Mei Mei. So it's like this is the matchup, and Nico mentioned that he doesn't feel all too comfortable fighting against just projectile users in general. So having a Mega Man as well, you know, coming out with these Pels with forward smash, I think Nico's going to, you'll see, you notice him trying to go for some more aerial approaches this time around to try to avoid the pellets. Because that's, exactly. that's like the thing that just messes him up a lot. Yeah, and it, it can be tough. We have Mega Mans here in SoCal, but definitely not to the uh, caliber of Scat or Kameme. Mm -hmm. um, so Nico probably, I, I don't know how much Mega Mans he has fought, but... This, honestly, looking pretty comfortable. As I say it, wow, he survives, though. Switches over to Buster from Art to get back onto the stage. Doesn't quite get back on the stage. That was a re-grab situation. Skat could have capitalized on that, but I don't think he, I think he thought that Nico was going to play aggressive. Yeah, and play go for that second slash. You do have yeah. that one mix-up. Ooh, trying to go for the drop zone. The, the Leaf Shield actually clipping him, but the punish here, and Nico honestly just getting a lot of damage. When Shulk just goes in there and just sneaks in air slashes on you, like that, that, that that's my joint, man. Yeah, yeah, it, it'd be like that. Wow, but the, the Metal Blade almost hitting the mark, but you know what? The back air is the one that's going to hit the mark there, and that's the move that matters. Yeah, I mean, get, doing it right out of shield, be able to catch your opponent high percents, can really catch him off guard. Going off super deep with the jump, Monado Art, but good recovery from Scat. You saw him fast fall yes. to avoid it incoming Shulk, man, because when Shulk goes off stage with the jump, Monado Art, my, he becomes an airplane. He is going out there. Oh, Wait, no double on. jump. This is a bad position. Oh. He misses the down air. Scat miss spacing. That was a free spike. Yeah, that was on a platter there. Combo off of it. There we go. Drop zone. And Nico, I mean, just Shulk in general, right? Oh, a deer in the headlights, though. Maybe mistiming it just a tad bit. Sometimes um, That was an air slash. Dude. Yeah, sometimes you'll, like, input it too early, but the shield sun is still, like, kind of messing you up. I don't know if that was that or if you just didn't expect that. Now, there, there, there's definitely some uh, miscalculations going on there, but Nico still finds a way to take away that first stock from Scab. But he's got a pretty hefty lead. Scab feeling pretty comfortable, you know, trying to play this uh, projectile game oh. again, throwing at that forward smash. He charged it for a bit. Jeez, man. Like, you heard that sound effect? <laughs> yeah, Doesn't it's that so hype. scare you? Oh, man, Scab's trying really hard to get these downers, but not quite hitting the mark. And But, I mean, it, it's not that big of a deal because... Scat generally is playing the ledge trapping game anyway. He's not doing going too hard for these edge guards. And just as I say it, off the ledge trap, man, Scat going to go ahead and be an entire stock up. And I, I don't think Scat's, like, afraid to go off stage per se. I think he's just doing a fantastic job of just doing the stage landing. Here we go. Big combos coming out. Nico realizing that, wait, I'm getting comboed like crap. Maybe I should switch over to the shield and our real quick to just defuse the situation. Yeah, and Shulk is one of those uh, characters that can uh, act in shield stun or shield during like hit stun with the uh, Monado art, so you can actually get out of certain combos. Oh but the my jab. lord! He got him with the jab off the pellet. Yes. Got the log on the platform, confirmed it into a Shoryuken. On, on the fly, thinking and reaction like that, this guy is out of his mind. Yeah, and those platform tech chases, you gotta be ready, and the pellets will lock at any percent or any percent that matters at nine, least. 999, nine, man. Yeah, like, and yeah. the up tilt to follow. Mega Man does have a very, very strong grounded option to follow up off that jab lock there. And man, Scat with a very dominating game number two. And I mean, this is what Scat's known for, right? He In Smash 4, he was known for his Mega Man. Now Snake coming into the game uh, for Ultimate also has that under his wing as well. And I, I feel like it's a great combo to have Mega Man and Snake to uh, obviously he's very comfortable playing those zoner type characters and it, it definitely shows. Scat likes explosions. Yeah. That's what it is, man. Mucho explosions on both <laughs> these characters. Yeah, <laughs> they're both exploding each other. All right, so let's jump into this next game. Game number two in this best three of five sets. Race to three, man. So we still got some more points. I mean, you guys are out of your mind running a three out of five on this one late on a Monday night, man. Like right now, it is like 4:30 on the East Coast. I'm so surprised. Oh wow! Whoa! whoa. Wow, he got the lock with the down air. I don't, I don't I, even know that did that. I think he maybe thought he was gonna pop up or something of the sorts. He kind of positioned himself more to the left. But wow, I I did not know that did that. <laughs> Learning something every day, man. I mean, that's Smash Ultimate. When you got 78 characters with Hero on the way, you know. Yeah. That's yeah. a there's a lot of stuff you'll eventually find out. Okay, getting a lot of damage off the Buster Round Art because in Buster, you know, it's gonna be able to increase the amount of damage you do to your opponent. So, oh, that Smash Art that almost worked against him. Yeah. Okay, there's the forward air. Getting aggressive. Early up B coming out from Scat. And Mega Man, a very unique character in a sense that you can actually use your double jump after the up B. Is that his life, though? 
and it is because he used the directional air dodge earlier on accident. I'm pretty sure he wanted to do a regular air dodge. Yeah, I mean, that, that looked like a, either a missed input on the directional, uh, directional air dodge or that Nico just baited it out. And because he wasn't able to go for another one to get back onto the ledge, he was dead. So that was just a cop between a rock and a hard place. So here we go. Nico, 122%, has a slight lead. As long as he doesn't get caught by these forward smashes. Look at him trying to play safe here. Yeah, and you know what? a lot what? of retreating stuff. In SoCal, we definitely take those, bro. We, yeah. Oh, in SoCal, yeah. we have to take whatever we can get, man. East Coast too strong. <laughs> <laughs> man, come on. You guys got to level up. Oh, God. Wow. Landed right into that forward smash. Mega Buster coming out. Fully charged. But you know what? I got faith in Nico. He, he's trying He's trying to be out here. He's trying to rep. SoCal, you know what? SoCal doesn't suck. You know, we, we out here. We grinding. Isn't there a tournament series called that? Yeah, uh, a round Robin. Round Robin? Is Where can we find that, Korean? Oh, you can actually find it on uh, Void's YouTube. Uh, you can check it out, uh, youtube.com backslash GSM Void. Wow, yeah. that sounds exciting. Maybe people should go check that out. Yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, it's free, man. There you go. <laughs> okay, so Nico's back on stage, 95%. That was Oh, he wow. read him so hard. Sour spot. Yeah, I, I'm like, I'm... I'm like definitely trying to be biased towards SoCal, but uh, damn, Scott actually had that. Like, you know what? Th those are tragic, right? It's like, ooh, I definitely read you, though. <laughs> I mean, when you, when, you, when you corner someone and apply so much pressure against them on the ledge like that, you, 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 odds are they're going to try to go for like a roll or a jump just to try to escape said corner. Oh, so yeah. So sure. it, it's kind of becomes a guessing game at that point, and Scott guessed correctly. Oh, man, both these players just so, so well avoiding each other's hitboxes. There's the downer trying to get the two frame. Tries to get a roll with the nair, but not quite working out. Still surviving off the back throw, though. I think that was the double. Oh, no, no. The double jab no, was he, held. He got hit by the metal blade, which actually popped him up a little bit. He actually decided on purpose to get hit by that so he didn't have to expend his resources. <gasps> How did he avoid that? Forward air, off stage, jumping out of art to try to get the edge guard. Scat, not going to get back to the stage. Perry? These recoveries from Scat are amazing. Uh, Newsflash, that that uh, that sword is gigantic on Shulk, so the fact that he's avoiding that, and the forward smash the stuff out the dash. It was just like a little baby projectile, but it still packs a wallop. Wow, that was such a good conversion. Even baiting out the shield art there and just racking up that 20 damage, and right now Scat is just playing to get as much damage as possible. Gets the Footstool. wait, the air dodge? Yes, gets back on the stage. And that recovery is so, so good. Because of the directional air dodge. You know, yep. popping him up there, managed to land the back air, finally gets the kill. Final stocks for both competitors here in game number three. Straight to the speed art here for Nico. Definitely going to be one of your openers, uh, kind of like your quote-unquote squirtle of the team, you know, just yeah. uh, get that early damage. They're both blue. Yeah. Hey. Ooh, oh, he, if he fell a little bit faster, but... Scat still applying this ledge pressure. Wow, beautiful cross-up. And with the jump art, you have so much air mobility as well. So yeah. it's very, very safe to do those cross-up nares. And once you're using that jumping out of art just to try to get out of disadvantage state, it also puts you on the stage. You can opt to go for those cross-ups because that jumping out of art. But the problem with that is that, like, she'll kind of broadcast what he does based on what art he's currently in. Oh, oh okay. roll read. And this time, Scat's like, you know what? I ain't messing this one up. Like, honestly, that's the second time we've seen Scat punishing a roll. I mean, honestly, Mega Man gets a lot off of up tilt the Shoryuken whenever someone goes for a roll like that. It's very reminiscent of, like, the Luigi super jump punch when yeah. you see someone, like, elegant try to catch those rolls as well. Right. So it, it, I, I'm getting, like, flashbacks to that. So Scat seems to be, like, the new uh, play style here for Scat. It's starting to net him some W. So Nico on his potential final game here. You know he doesn't want to end up at third place with the two invaders in grand finals. Yeah, Nico is definitely trying to defend the SoCal name here. Defend the Lugia. South. Yeah. And right now, we're going to go right into game number four. Now, Nico does have a Joker, but, you know, going to stay with the tried and true. Obviously, he, he's known for maining Shulk in Smash 4 as well. And let's just say Shulk kind of got blessed with the ultimate snap, so. It's very important, you know. He's, he's got those Minato arts that just, like, really help him out in this game. Being able to switch through them really quick without having to turn them off as well is a, such a huge boon. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, like, I don't know if you could dial store in Smash 4, but definitely no. more <laughs> like at more all. tech at your disposal, too. So it's, yeah. like, it's really cool. Remember Malk? Remember Malk? Uh-huh. Remember that move? <laughs> he still has it. It's just not as useful. Oh, what a call out on the jump, and Scat is still applying all this pressure. He jumped off the rush, the rush coil. Yeah. Able to get back onto the stage. It's really cool when Mega Man's use that in teams to, like, save teammates. That, that, that's oh, name. yeah, that, that's my joint, dude. <laughs> rush coming in with the assist, man. It's 3v2. Let's go. Okay. Nico has to, but he has to win this game, though. He can't give up anymore. He's, he's down 2-1. 
He's got to make this uh, game four really count. And there's the up B. He's still alive, though. Okay, we're going to catch that directional air dodge. Though. Nico has run off stage so many times to catch that air slash, and he finally finds his mark and converts it into a forward air later on as he tries to drift towards the stage. So it's finally paying off. So I was about to mention that like every single time Scott goes for recovery, Nico's diving. He's going deep. Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh, there's a shield. Ooh, that, that was, was so scary. <laughs> Man. My heart stopped for a second because yeah. he activated his shield art. If he got hit by that, like, I think he still would have survived, but it does not matter. He gets the back air, yep. gets the, uh, the, the the slash, and here we go. Bust him out of to try to increase some more damage. Big damage off wow. of that conversion. Down throw into dash attack. Smart stuff. Oh, he there's a shield art. And because he switched over to shield Monado art, and when he throws the, air, the leaf shield, he has a little bit of lag afterwards, so Nico is able to punish him. Yep. Woo, wow, conversions. man, Scat's Mega Man is looking clean out here, man. Oh, hit him out of the rush. He still has double jump, though. There's a crash bomb onto the ledge, kind of defusing pressure. Just, hey, Nico, he, get off me, man. He mounts. He did the thing. The Minato Art landing lag cancel. He nice, did it. nice. Yeah, and I mean, that that's the scary thing about Shulk, right? That offstage is probably one of the strongest in the game. You know, you have forward air. You also have the upbeat edge guard as well, which we've seen Nico do time and time again. The big damage with the bus art. Tried to get the upbeat to follow. Gets the trade, but still alive. There we go. Runs right off the platform. Doesn't even need Smash Minato. Doesn't want to give away his intentions. So opts to go for just a quick, neutral, vanilla forward air. Yeah, and... uh. Something, you know, sometimes vanilla is the best flavor. Yeah. I mean, Ooh, it's oh. okay to be basic. Like, sometimes you just want to be, you don't want to have a basic day. That's exactly what he's doing right now. There's no arts here. He's just playing strictly neutral. Off stage, though, obviously, you want to switch over to the the the, uh, the green one. Yeah, yeah, definitely the one that gives you the hops. Yeah, a little hopscotch here. Okay, right, we got so Speed Metal Art again trying to close this distance. He's got to be careful, though, because he's at a high percent. You know, Scott's going to be on the move to try to find these kills. Now, it doesn't necesarily need the up tilt sure you can anymore. It just needs, like, a clean little forward air, a back air. Wow. Good DI. Nico's still surviving. Ops to switch over to Shield Art to give him, like, six seconds of, uh, you know, survivability. <laughs> but Scott yeah, just yeah. ran away. You saw that. He's like, I'm not dealing with this. And back the back throw, throw is Toss him. Guts man taught him well. I feel like... Uh, Nico is able to get some of these first stocks, but he's never able to capitalize on the damage. Scat just does such a good job, doesn't really give him those openings, and then he also seals the stock out as well. That is not easy to do. Yeah, when Scat is actually down below his stock, he just starts to play way more careful. I think I think he's uh, he's waiting for Nico to mess up or like uh, re he's reacting. He's just reacting yeah. to Nico to do something. Down down to off of the the parry. And what's crazy about these areas? Oh God, oh. he is chasing. Yeah, I thought that air dodge was going to get punished, but Nico not quite ready to pull the trigger there, and there's that shield art actually turning that situation into Nico's favor. Like, yeah. oh, you want neutral, but you want it with a multi-hit, so let me go ahead and get this young grab. Exactly. That's the second time we've seen Leaf Shield, you know, getting stuffed out by shield and out of art. Running across the entire stage is looking like Sonic the Hedgehog. And that ledge jump Leaf Shield is so good. Right, No matter what kind of upward momentum you have, if when you Leaf Shield, it just stops. So you, you can catch a lot of people off guard because they see your character jerking upwards, and then, like, bang, you're coming down in with a, like into them with that multi-hit being the Leaf Shield. And oh. that was a scary situation. He had oh, about 104% man. with uh, Smash from Outer Art. So you saw Sky just trying to run away again just to wait for that art to wear off because he did not want to get caught by those back ears that Nico was throwing out. Oh, man, that forward smash almost hit, but the forward air does find its mark here. Scat, another ledge trap situation. Waiting waits for his move. I mean, honestly, in jumping out of art, a lot of the time you're going to go for the jump option because he goes so high in the air, but he just mixed, mixed up the timing. Oh, Gets that down air. He teched. <laughs> he teched. <laughs> okay. Get out of here. <laughs> you deserve to die. Come on, man. Come on, man. You Come on, man. Yo, man, Scat out here cheating, bro. What the heck? He literally... <laughs> That was beautiful, though. So can we go over that situation one more time? Right, Nico so. goes onto the ledge. Right. And then Scat follows right up underneath him. So Nico lets go of the ledge before getting trumped. Ju double jumps, connects the down air. But because Scat was DIing towards the stage, he was able to tech right into it. It looked like he air dodged. And he buffered the, the air stage. dodge after the tech, too. So it made him go onto the stage as well, yeah. which is like something more players definitely need to do. You can tech wall jump, air dodge the stage. I, I feel like everyone's just so used to like Smash 4 wall teching and stuff. They're, they're not like yeah. embedded in those like really crazy tight just reaction only situations to use their directional air dodge. But Scat out here showing and advancing this metagame, man. That wow. Was, that was bonkers. Yes. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to call it, man. I lose, like if Nico lost that game like that after something like that happens, that's like. Could, could you be mad? 
No, not Could really. Could you be mad? Like, I mean, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be shocked. I'd, I'd be salty, but you can't be mad. But we're in the final game here. Again, this race to three. Winner, this is going to move on to face off against Kamehameha and Grands. Or is it going to be a Mega Man ditto? Yo. Or, or will Nico try to get the run back against him? I know Nico's fiending for that because he was not happy with that game three situation. Oh, yeah. That, that happened was, uh, prior. I heard it uh, It was quite the clinic. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it was kind of just a sweep. And Nico kind of gave up, I think, yeah. in, in, near the end of that game. So now he's fighting against another Mega Man, getting that warm up. Let's see if we can try to bring this into to try to get that run back against him or if we're just going to have a Mega Smash Monday that's really a Mega Smash Monday. Proto Man versus Mega Man, maybe? Is that canon? <laughs> uh, it happens in Mega Man 3. I don't know. Yo. Spoilers, dog. <laughs> that game came out in the 80s. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I thought he was going to hit that forward smash. That was really scary. Landed right in front of him. Oh. Good. He ran right by him. Connects the forward smash. Gets the kill. No Smash Brother Art required. That's what I'm saying. You don't need to be in Smash Art to get these kills. I know a lot of Shulks want to do that. But the second you go into Smash Art, the opponent's like, oh, you're trying to kill me. Yeah. I'm gonna, yeah. I, I, now I'm hyper aware of this because you're glowing red. Yeah, exactly. And, man, we're talking about that scat forward smash. But, man, Nico, Nico really hitting the mark and getting this lead. Let's what see if he can capitalize, though. He already has 83%, which is great. Whoa. Wh okay. That, that was some like crash Loki. bomb shenanigans. Yeah, Loki kind of saved him, though, right? Yeah, no, it definitely Ooh. did. Run side down. That was Nico going for a very risky vision. He thought Sky was going to play aggressive with, like, an, uh, like, a forward air off the platform. So, instead, Sky just went for a punish. He got the Z drop there, getting that good damage, that good shield pressure up. Be out of shield here for Nico, really diffusing that cross up pressure. Okay, bust him around to try to increase the damage. He wanted to turn it off so he get the air slash right afterwards, but Scat DI'd away. Oh man, trying to get this edge guard. He Ooh. had to recover high to avoid the second hit of that slash. Yeah, and Choke not quite fast enough without that speed art, but gets the falling there. Gonna get a little aggressive with this jump art, switching off, gets the back air. Reads the roll onto the stage, and he is moving. Yeah, really good stuff here. And Nico in a very, very prime position here to take this game five situation against Georgia's own scat. But what we saw in the past couple of games that Nico has a hard time trying to attack on damage. Or yeah. sorry, that, that, was, that was more like scat. He has well, he takes the stock, then like scat just plays so patient. Yeah. Where it's just it becomes so difficult for Schultz to just do anything. Yeah, he has okay, there's the opening, but doesn't capitalize too much. Only a single nair hit. Usually you get the to combo in the speed art. That's chump change. Okay, here's the Here buster we go. Art. He's pulling out the big wallet now. Oh yeah. Buster art. Oh, no cross up. Oh <laughs> Okay, when you when you run into the, that part where you're pushing him across PS2, like something's gotta give. Oh man, just barely out. Oh, but that quick poke being the town down tilt here for Nico. Actually crouching under some of those pellets as well. Oh, trying to go for a deep edge guard. The reversal does not connect here for Scat. Yeah, he's able to low profile that because of the down tilt, just naturally causing Shulk to crouch. Oh, oh good parry. parry. I mean, the thing is, as Shulk, your aerials come out slower than most aerials from other characters. They, be, they become pretty d easy to get those parries once you get the timing Oof. down. That was scary. A very aggressive dash grab, and dash grab is very laggy in this game, so you got to be careful. Give oh, God. Oh, the roll what right into my hands, man. What's yeah, up? dude. It was all going to plan, but now he's got jumping out hard to try to get. Okay, Ooh. backslash. See, that's the kind of stuff you say for game five. Yeah, <laughs> scratch his back, dude. I really I need you. to get off this ledge in it's dead? game five. Oh, oh he you saw Scat recovered so low. He was yeah. near that blast zone. Nico still surviving, goes for the backslash to catch onto the ledge, causing Scat to back off, too. No trapping coming from him. Finds his mark, gets a forward air, catches the roll again. Going off super oh, deep. He, he falls out. He fell out because he was too low. Oh, no. Back throw tosses him off. Final stocks. We have a game five, ladies and gentlemen. We're on last stock apiece. But this story, Scat is sitting at that very, very high percent. Can he make this comeback a dream? No. That, wow, the forward throw. <laughs> out of all the options he went for. I was he went so for scared. Ledge attack. The 